Hello friends and welcome to my Caribbean kitchen. My name is Ria. As you know, I try to film at least one meal prep on a Saturday or Sunday for you. And on today's menu, we have barbecued lamb with our pre-made green seasoning, a delicious creamy macaroni salad, and a quick 10 minute fried rice. If you're interested in seeing how I prepared this fantastic meal in less than 30 minutes, let's start cooking. We buy one package of lamb per month and I've already shared our amazing Trini stewed lamb recipe with you and also a grilled lamb kebab recipe. Today we're taking it outside on the grill, but don't worry, you can also make this in the oven. First, we'll rinse the lamb the Caribbean way with lemon, lime, or flour. Once it's nice and clean, after several rinses, we'll drain and get ready to season it. Every quick recipe starts with our famous Caribbean green seasoning because we all have a jar in the refrigerator. I'll leave the link below and above. I'm adding 6 tablespoons of green seasoning along with 1 tablespoon of Celtic sea salt which is what I had on hand at the moment and 2 teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper. And because lamb is always better with a lot of garlic, I'm adding 2 tablespoons of minced garlic and also a squeeze of lemon juice. I like keeping my seasoning clean, fresh and healthy. I'll make sure that the seasoning is thoroughly combined by rubbing it all over the lamb. Then I'll cover, place in a resealable bag or you can cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate for a minimum of 30 minutes or in this case I will be barbecuing the lamb tomorrow Sunday. Next I'll boil some elbow pasta for the macaroni salad. Boil according to the package instructions and once it's boiled, drain and I always add a pat of butter. Because as we all know, butter makes it better. This I also boiled the day before to save on prep time. Next I'll make the yummy dressing for the macaroni salad. You will need one cup of mayo and you may use regular veganese or make your own. Two teaspoons to two tablespoons of mustard depending on your preference, regular or Dijon. 2 tablespoons of brown sugar or to taste. 3 tablespoons apple cider vinegar or fresh lemon juice. 1 tablespoon granulated garlic and 1 teaspoon onion powder. And for a unique and surprising flavor, I always add a pinch of freshly grated nutmeg. Finish it up with 1 teaspoon of freshly grated black pepper. You may also use white pepper. Give it a stir and allow it to sit and for all the flavors to melt while your pasta is cooling. That is if you boiled your pasta the same day. Taste and adjust the sweetness, the acidity or the saltiness as necessary. Next I'll add about two cups of grated carrots, half cup of celery stalks, a red bell pepper diced, um, one medium red onion chopped, two fresh pimento peppers and a few scallions and parsley chopped to the pasta. As you know, I love my meals colorful and veggie-licious. Mix it well to combine, cover and refrigerate until you're ready to serve your meal. The lamb is already on the smoker grill because my husband was not aware that I was filming. The key thing to remember here is to always bring your meat to room temperature before placing it on the grill and also make sure that your grill is thoroughly hot before doing so. We all have our preference when it comes to doneness, so cook it the way you like it. Since I also cook for my husband for a couple of days on a Sunday, I also have steak and chicken on the grill. You can keep the lamb clean with no barbecue sauce or you can use my homemade barbecue sauce, I'll leave the link to that recipe below, or pre-made bottled sauce. Do whatever is convenient for you. We'll brush the sauce on the lamb, flip and repeat on the other side and only cook it for a minute or two more.
The lamb looks absolutely delicious and scrumptious and I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. But before we do, I need to make a quick fried rice. I'm going to go into the refrigerator and pick out a few random ingredients, whatever is available, and we'll throw it together. Back in the kitchen with camera in one hand and a spoon in the other hand, I've added some onions to the pot, cooked it until it was golden brown, added about two tablespoons of minced garlic, and then a package of maybe a 14 ounce package of mixed vegetables. Put the vegetables to the side, added a little bit of oil, and I cracked in three eggs, which I'm frying. I did add a pinch of salt to the eggs to bring out the flavor. Some of the most delicious and inventive recipes are created when we're really, really hungry. Next, I found a piece of cabbage, which I roughly chopped, and I also have a few scallions and a few sprigs of parsley. Always cook up for the bottom. All the burning areas. Not burning but sticking. Shape up the bottom. Because I cook and send food for my mom every week, we are using quite a lot of rice here. I would say about eight cups of rice. As you may have noticed, my daughter has joined me in the kitchen because it's quite challenging to hold a camera in one hand and a spoon in the other. We're using a sweet soy sauce, but regular will work just as well. And if you're on a clean diet, you can certainly eliminate these ingredients. Also adding a few tablespoons of toasted sesame oil. And that's all there is to it, my sweet friends. Another quick meal to save the day. With a few simple ingredients and a little cooking with Ria magic, you can have this fabulous meal on the table for your family in less than 30 minutes. Thanks so much for joining me till the end. If you wish to show your support and appreciation for the work I do on this channel and blog, give me a huge thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Kindly share this video with your friends, family, and social media community. If you try this or any of my other recipes, leave your feedback below the video so others can benefit and tag me on Facebook or Instagram. I love seeing your pics. And do subscribe if you wish to be a part of the Cooking with Ria family. Until next time, stay safe, be well, cook, share, and love. Bye-bye.